But then he says this in verse 33. These things I've spoken to you that in me you may have peace. I want you to be at peace. That's his last words. I want you to be at peace. So I've been saying this to you. What will bring you peace? Number one, to know that God loves you with an everlasting and sovereign and divine love. To know that you belong to God. Your faith is the real thing, and God is your Redeemer, your Savior, and your protector and provider. But thirdly, your peace comes from this. In the world you have tribulation. Take courage. I have overcome the world. That's hope. That's hope. You look at the world around you, you say, what in the, what in the world is going on? How could it get any worse? Listen. He overcame the world. Past tense. It hasn't yet worked out in time, but it's all planned in eternity. This is ultimate victory. The world will persecute you. The world may kill you, turn against you, but I have overcome the system. I have overcome sin. I have overcome Satan. I have overcome demons. I have overcome the complex of sinners. I've overcome it all. He is triumphant. His victory is our victory. 1 John 5, 4 and 5, we are overcomers because our faith is in Christ and we are united with Christ in His victory. Paul says to the Corinthians, we always triumph in Christ. Doesn't matter how the world is going, He wins in the end. He wins. There is hope. There is absolute hope. My beloved brethren, Paul says, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing your toil is not in vain in the Lord. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through Christ Jesus our Lord. Do you want peace in your life, tranquility in the midst of turmoil? You want joy in your life, the positive exuberance to face life no matter how difficult it might be? Then you need to be in the arms of a loving God a God in whom you've entrusted your eternal soul who cares for you and holds on to you everlastingly even through your times of doubt, and a God who has power not only over the present but power over the future and has already ordained that future and your part in that future, an inheritance undefiled laid away for you in heaven. You can live with that. Think of it. God loves you. God holds you. And God has a purpose for you in eternity to come. 